Uh, I'm Clement Lemoyne, and I'm very happy to be here with you uh, to present you the topic How can glass help you with wireless security and wireless design? So, I'm an innovation manager at Wave, started by AGC. And maybe a first introduction about uh, AGC. So, we are a multinational company, about 60,000 employees around the world, based in Tokyo. Three segments chemicals, glass, and electronics. And in Europe, we are very active in the, in the glass industry. So two divisions of the building, uh, just a quick number, a fourth of the buildings are equipped with AGC glass, and in the automotive, a fourth of the vehicles are equipped with AGC glass. This is it for the quick in the introduction. But at AGC, we like to innovate. Uh, we like to combine different technologies with glass uh, to build up new products uh, to solve issues. And uh, uh, you have to know that we have been building uh, antenna uh, in glass for the automotive industry for over 40 years. Um, antenna are not uh, on the roof anymore, they are on the rear windshield. And this expertise has been transversalized in the building world uh, um, uh, to bring up new solutions with WAVE. And which, which issues do we solve? So the first one is when you have a bad indoor cellular connectivity in the interior. So with WAVE through, we uh, treat with a, an invisible laser treatment the glazing to enable the signal to go in it. This is on the market, I'm not going to talk about it. I will talk about wave trap and wave antenna, which are the beginning of an innovation journey. Wave trap is, uh, is to block the signal when you don't want electromagnetic waves to go into the building with a transparent electromagnetic shield glass. And with wave antenna, uh, we want to deal with network densification issues in the design constrained environment by providing an existing glass antenna. So first, let's jump into the wave trap and the, the use case we want to tackle. So the first one, yeah, you may have electronic disturbances, interferences uh, with electromagnetic system, especially in healthcare. You want to block this wave from the outside. The second use case is people are more and more afraid about electromagnetic waves, about electro, electro smog. And the first uh, um, building deployed with wave trap actually is a luxury, luxury apartment in Monaco. And the third one is the, the the matter of prime concern today is the cyber security, is how WaveTrap has an additional layer uh, in the building to strengthen the cyber security. So I'm not going to detail the context, but you have more and more threats. Uh, you have the, uh, the NIS2 um, legislation, which will come over in, uh, in October 2024. So companies have to protect themselves uh, against uh, uh, this threat. And how does WaveTrap work? So WaveTrap, actually, it's a dedicated coating technology uh, combined eventually with a metallic mesh on the glass surface. And what it does, it attenuates drastically uh, the, uh, the electromagnetic signal, about 60 dB, which you, uh, actually you don't have any more signal in, in interior. And by the way, it doesn't affect the other physical parameters, like the light transmission, the solar factor, the U value, so you do not change anything for the thermal Insulation um, and acoustic isolation, and with a, transpa a transparent layer. And you can apply that on any glass product uh, on the building, like facade, doors, windows, laminated glass, simple glazing, double glazing, triple glazing, as soon as it's on a new construction project. And you com combine that also with other AGC properties like anti fire glass and security glass. So that is for the, for the wave shop. And so the key message here is, yeah, it helps cybersecurity professionals in addition to a software protection and a network security protection with a, f uh, a physical firewall to strengthen the cybersecurity against cyber attacks. So that's how glass helps uh, wireless security. And what about wave antenna? Uh, so wave antenna, uh, uh, the, the, the pains we want to tackle, so we've been quite new in the Wi-Fi industry, so less than one year. <laughs> And by uh, talking with you guys and just you know, look at, looking at your, your, your profession, it's, it seems like the, the, the conventional deployment of IPs doesn't fit in some configuration, like the ceiling heights when it's above seven meters, uh, in large corridors, in, in high density uh, coverage is needed, like you know, in the meeting rooms, or when you have interferences in the full ceilings with uh, metallic, um, um, metallic materials or GPROC. 
you either deploy external antenna or relocate access points in visible area, uh, we can, which can jeopardize uh, the aesthetics and, and, and bring a visual pollution, especially in high-end environments. Uh, the second thing is, um, in these interiors, you combine more and more electronic equipment. So access points, security signage, uh, smoke detectors, and this can also bring a visual pollution in this kind of environment. And the third one is, of course, when you had different layers, you multiply the hardware and the manpower uh, in the construction project. And so with wave antenna, so you have, so I have with me. So this is an antenna embedded in a glass. So with the pattern, uh, for the moment we're doing 4G, 5G, and, uh, and Wi-Fi, of course. Uh, we can have different dimensions, different frames. Um, of course, we have to respect the physical uh, constraints for the radiation. And we can install it uh, behind the window, we can install it you know, on the ceiling, on the wall also, we have designed uh, specific frames. But the main value is uh, because uh, we are a glass expert, we can print anything on it. Uh, so these are um, real products installed. Uh, and active, uh, so you can see that we have integrated antenna in the mandatory uh, uh, security signage or functional signage, and therefore the antenna is invisible. So this is our, our Technovation Center, and uh, and uh, the antenna uh, uh, work quite well. And on the opposite side, we can use the antenna to print a logo on an additional banner, and therefore the antenna is part of the branding experience. We can even add some LEDs because we have some. Uh, we masterize this technology, and so we can enlighten a logo and make uh, some, uh, some branding stuff. So this point is more um, technical and to, um, um, to ensure that, uh, yes, of course, we made some uh, coverage tests uh, with uh, Jean-Marc from Z. Where is, where is Jean-Marc? Jean that's because of him I'm here. And uh, so we have deployed 11 localization in our Technovation uh, Center with this glass uh, plugged to an extreme access point. And uh, the, the, the coverage tests were quite good. I'm um, very happy that the Wi-Fi works perfectly. Um, the second uh, test we've been doing is um, we have uh, made some comparison tests um, regarding this glass antenna and, and compared the measurements with uh, access point with integrated antenna and external antenna. So with Cisco, Juniper, and Extreme. And taking into account the cable loss, we are we are in, in the same average of performance. So, and the, the third point uh, uh, is to tell you that uh, this, is, this is an omnidirectional antenna. Of course, you can see the technical uh, specification there. Uh, and the unidirectional antenna in, is under uh, development. So, uh, um, and so the, the, to, to finalize the question, so how web antenna helps you with wireless design? So, we think it could help you because it helped the final customer uh, uh, in high-end environments to enhance his visual experience. Uh, the, the building owners and, and managers in some uh, critical design environments like uh, luxury hotels, like cruise ship, uh, like a fancy boutique, so wants a, a perfect uh, visual experience. It enables also IT professionals to deal with deployment issues in constrained environments. And to make the architect happy, sometimes you have struggle you know, with the architect, you know, okay, how to place you know, this access point with the antenna, you deal this issue. And last point, the, with the antenna with signage, we, we make the bet that we can reduce integration costs in large infrastructure projects with the double product, like this one. Of course, we can uh, uh, tailor the solution according to, uh, to your needs. So, yeah, uh, we, uh, we integrate 4G, 5G. We, we think about doing a, a, dual, uh, a dual product with 5G and Wi-Fi, but we have to test it again. Um, we made antenna dimensions in every uh, so large one, short one. We have printing possibilities, and so how I told you, we can print whatever you want. And the ceiling and wall version are, are, are very, very, uh, very good, I think. And the th last thing is, yeah, this product is ready, so it can be plugged to any AP. The wave antenna uh, Wi-Fi will be registered soon in Echo Hall uh, in the last release. And uh, so I'm working on the box as well to ship it to our door, when installation toolkit. And so, yeah, I think I'm done. 
Uh, I really uh, thank you for your uh, attention. And if you have any feedbacks you know, about what I presented you, because we are at the beginning of an innovation journey about the pains we want to tackle, about the value proposition, come to me and, and discuss with me. It would be a pleasure. And if you want a free uh, wave antenna sample, you know, uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you.